Let, let's get back to the scary cats. What did he say again, Flatsoid? Snell's law has got nothing to do with boundaries. What in the world? And this uh, comes from some sort of science teacher. Oh, the science teacher that doesn't know the second law of thermodynamics. Why does he still have a channel? Yeah. Why does he still doesn't... have a channel if he's a science teacher and doesn't know what the second law of thermodynamics is? He's already busted. It's his voice. He can't get out of it. What in the world, sir? I'm going to have to do something about it. I, I, I don't get this. Okay, so Snell's law has no boundaries, right? Go ahead, Flatsoid. What did he say? I put the first comment in the Discord chat. Why do you say Snell's law needs more than one medium? Do you never get tired of being totally, utterly wrong? <laughs> okay, from Wiki. Well, that's, what, that's what started. Okay, from Wiki. I got it right up on it. You don't say it, it's up for everyone to see. So, Frady Katz, second law of thermodynamics violating, doesn't even know what a mirage is, says that Snell's law doesn't need two different media? Really? From his alma mater wiki, Snell's law, also known as snell Descart law and the law of refraction, is a formula used to describe the relationship between the angles of incidence and refraction. When referring to light or other waves passing through a boundary. Do you see this word? Frady cats, numpty dipshit. You see the boundary? And then the next word, between. And then the next few words, two different isotropic media. And it gives... Examples, water, glass, or air. Do you see that numpty dipshit? How about yeah. this? Do you see the formula? Do you do you maths? Do you maths, Brady Cat? Medium change. Right? Do you see this? You clown. What a moron. Yeah, they think that it all applies and refraction works in some kind of a homogeneous medium like if there's some supposed slight gradual change they think that's enough well no because if you apply to that then the actual deviations become insignificant right it don't the only real heavy refraction happens when there is a sudden abrupt medium change like with a hard border usually right that yeah. that's how we have discovered it through the hard border. So that doesn't work in gas and maybe slightly less thick gas or something. It doesn't work. It has to have a hard border. Yep. We got I mean, it. We're staring it, at it right here. Air. I mean, see have... this. Wait a second. We got air. You see that one medium right there? Air. It has N1. You see this over here? It has N1. That's the refractive index of air. Then you have a boundary, a surface, Frady Cats. Are you still following Numpty Dipshit? Then you have water, N2. You see on the other side of the equal sign where it has N2? That's the refractive index of water. You see how they're different? My God. You better stay, you better stay within your little framework over there, Numpty. I catch you outside there, you know what's going to happen. We both know what's going to happen, don't we? Clown. 